Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi, my name is Busari Bunliayo and I'm a registered nurse. On this channel, I film content related to nursing and healthcare and in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about urinary tract infection. If you are new here, please click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also on the bell icon so you don't miss out when I drop a new video. In today's video, I am going to be explaining UTI just like I said earlier, but I'm going to make sure that my explanations are so simple so that everybody can get it. With that being said, let's get into the topic for today. Now your urinary system can actually be likened to like your body's drainage system. What it basically does is that it helps you to excrete waste products and excess water. And your urinary tract or your urinary system contains of two kidneys, two ureters, one bladder and an ureter. Now the two kidneys and the two ureters make up the upper urinary tract while the urinary bladder and the ureter make up the lower um, urinary tract now when any of these structures is infected you're said to be having a urinary tract infection now what are the causes of urinary tract infections and who are the people that are most likely to have them now most times urinary tract infections are caused by bacteria which could be e coli klebsiella pseudomonas and some other forms of bacteria but the most common cause of uti is E. coli. Now let's talk about the risk factors. Females are more likely to come down with urinary tract infections than males and this is because the females have shorter ureters. The, like basically the ureter of a female or a woman is shorter than that of a man. Because of that, the bacteria does not really have a lot of length to travel in the female ureter for it to cause an infection. People who have the habit of holding in their urine are very likely of coming down with urinary tract infection and um, it's called urinary stasis basically when you feel the urge to urinate and you're more like holding it in and it becomes a habit you can come down with urinary tract infection people who are sexually active are also at risk of coming down with urinary tract infection people who have um, certain medical conditions like diabetes can come down with urinary tract infection. People who do not take in enough water are also at risk of coming down with urinary tract infection. Pregnant women can also come down with urinary tract infection because the baby or the weight of the baby applies pressure on the urinary tract causing urinary stasis. People who have also undergone medical um, procedures like urinary catheterization can also come down with urinary tract infection. So those are like risk factors of urinary tract infections. So what are the signs and symptoms that you would experience when you have a urinary tract infection? The first thing is the person might experience pain um, while urinating and the urine comes with a lot of frequency like the person urinates um, often. Let's say um, an individual urinates like two to three times daily normally. Um, when the person has urinary tract infection, the person might start to urinate like five six seven times in a day and there is also come something called nocturia which means the person tends to urinate a lot at night and there is also um urgency when it comes to the urinating process like the person cannot control how um the urine comes out like probably you're about to use the toilet now and you you want to urinate before you get to let's say the water closet the urine starts dripping down without your control that is called urgency do so there's frequency there's urgency there's nocturia there is um pain while urinating and the urine the urine rather might be foul smelling it may be bloody it may contain blood that is called hematuria depending on the form of um, urinary tract infection how complicated it is and which part of the urinary tract has been affected now one of the major dangers of urinary tract infections is that there is a possibility for it to ascend and cause some infections in the kidney and that is referred to as pyelonephritis and to prevent this it is advisable that you treat your urinary tract infection as soon as possible so when you notice any of the symptoms that i've mentioned earlier it is best to visit your um, care provider or visit a doctor or go to the hospital for some tests to be done and um, drugs will be prescribed to you now ideally you're supposed to use antibiotics in the treatment of 
um, urinary tract infection because basically they are caused mostly caused by bacteria and bacterial infections are treated with antibiotics but because you do not know or you cannot tell just by looking at the urine the um, type of bacteria causing it or if the bacteria causing it is sensitive to any form of antibiotics that you might be getting over the counter that's why it is advisable to always go to the hospital get tested and a proper diagnosis should be done and you are prescribed the proper medications so i hope you get my point in the entire video if you want to see more of my videos related to healthcare click this playlist here and i'll see you in my next video bye